All right, guys, welcome back to this training. My name is um, Coach Concord, and uh, I'm going to be showing you in this training, right, you know, how to design um, your website using template kits and, you know, Elementor plugin and some other tools. So we're going to be starting with the first thing. The first thing is, you know, um, remember, it is how to design a website in six steps. Okay, so in this particular video, I'll be treating, you know, step one. Step one, what is step one? Step one would you know feature how to install team and the needed plugins that you'd be requiring to um, build your website, okay? So this is me trying to log into um, 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 my WordPress, you know, my, my WordPress dashboard where everything is gonna go down. All right, so how do you, is to come, how do you access a WordPress dashboard? Remember, you come to, you insert your domain name your domain name, uh, your domain name slash WP. In the other video, I said I like to use WP admin. You can use WP dot slash lo um, hyphen login or WP um, admin. Okay. Then you click on enter so as to access it. Yeah. So um, you put your username and password. For me, I like using admin, like I mentioned before. And I put my password and I click on login. Yeah, so I'm in right now. Um, please, in case you're hearing any noise in the background, just disregard it. Um, where I am right now in the office, I think they're quite. Um, of course, you're expecting to hear one or two noises, but I hope that it doesn't reflect in the video. So yeah, so this is a brand new, fresh, um, um, domain that I just set up to for the course of this training. So everything here is brand new. So you've seen it for yourself. I've just gained access. So the next thing I want to do now is. Like I mentioned, the step one. Yeah, what we're going to be doing for step one would be to, um, you know, install Teams and the needed plugin. So let's quickly go ahead and install the team. The first one to install is Teams. So to install Teams, as I'm doing this now, pay attention to how I'm using this, all of these tools, all of these options, all of these options. These are things that allows you to add or remove anything from your website. So now I want to install a team. So I come to appearance. Okay, come to appearance. Click on. You see here Teams, you click on Teams. Okay, once you click on Teams, it brings you here. You click on Add New. See Add New, here. click on Add New, or you click on this plus sign here that says Add New Team. Okay, so you just click on anyone, it's gonna lead you to the same place. So I click on Add New. Now the team we want to use is called Hello Elementor. This is it here, Hello Elementor. This is the team that we're going to be using. There are other teams you know, like Astra, Team, there is um DV team, there is um you know, lots of other teams out there, Ocean WP. But for this particular training, right, with the methods I'm going to be teaching you, we are going to be using Hello Elementor. So let me just click on install. You okay, click on install, you wait for it to install. Then um let's give it a few minutes, a few seconds rather, to be installed. Then it has installed, then you click on activate. You see activate here, yeah, click on activate. Good. We have installed and activated what the team that we want to use. We have installed and activated the team that we want to use. Okay. So um, if I say if I open this website now, let me open it. CVC site. Let me open it in a new tab. I should have opened it before now. Where and when I, I have not added anything on the website, right? Should have opened it so you see. But for now, because of the team I added, it's not looking like this. Okay, showing that okay, this website is ready, you know, to start, um, to start getting um, to, to it's ready to be displayed to the world. Everything is ready. All we need to do now is to add the templates, right? So and let's come back here. So added team, we have added team. The next thing we want to add now are a couple of other, um, you know, plugins that we're going to be needing. So the, we're going to be needing Elementor plugins. There's Elementor Free and there's Elementor Pro. We're going to be needing the two, right? I'm also going to be needing um, another plugin called Envato, right? Also, you can see, let me quickly show you something. See here, if you go to this, um, where the user, where the URL or where the domain name is, by the side, you will see not secure behind it. This is because I've not added SSL to this domain. So let me quickly show you how to do that. There's a particular plugin you know, to show people how to do this stuff, I actually charge money. And to do it for people, I charge money, but let me just show you for free. So um, now we're gonna be going to adding plugins, 
okay we've added team let's go ahead to start adding plugins so for, to add plugins you come here you see plugins here right plugins you come here click on add new okay so once you take your cursor to plugins it's going to bring out this extension here of other options this one here so you just click on add new so i'm trying as much as possible for this um, stuff to not be long okay so okay i'm going to add classic editor it's very important i'm going to show you tell you why later so let me add classic editor first is a free um, plugin you see here so you just add it and you know activate it add and activate it has been added you come you click here see add new well, let's add another one see them they are telling me that okay thanks for installing hello team for me to use this hello team to work i need to install the elemental plugin right so but first let me you click on add new click on add new you come here search for um um what's the name of that stuff now really really um simple SSL, okay, this is it here. Really simple SSL. It's very important. If peradventure you cannot add your SSL certificate from the um, C panel area of your website, this is another place you can add it easily. Just add this plugin, and this plugin will add an SSL to your website. And you know, so when you are building a website for your clients, you can just tell them that you, you to add SSL to the website. That's the security, the, the certificate, the SSL certificate. So add it to your website will cost five thousand. So they pay you, they pay everything they want to pay you. Come here and you do it for free. Okay, so you click on activate. Because I already installed it. So after installing, you click on activate. Okay, that's um <clears throat> activated. Then you come in that saying I should activate again. Okay. So I click on activate SSL. So it has been activated. They want me to log in again. So um I'll just log in back. So as soon as you activate your SSL, they will need you to log in again. Now look at my so if you see this padlock, look at the domain name. Look at behind it now. It's no longer showing not secure. Rather, it's showing this particular lock. Okay. So we are good to go. So I'm going to dismiss this. Come back to, and you can see that this angle now, this side, this left hand side of my WordPress dashboard is beginning to populate. It's beginning to populate, right? So the next thing you want to add is you click on, you go to back to plugins, click on add new. Next plugin we want to add is called Elementor. Okay, now let me show you that two kinds of Elementor. There's a free, free Elementor, there's a paid Elementor. Let me show you um, how much it costs to actually get the paid Elementor. Elementor Pro, that's the, the Pro version, okay? There's the free version, the Pro version. You can get the free version on your WordPress dashboard for free, but you, you, you cannot get the Pro version here. So you can see, how much it costs to you know have the Elementor Pro? The minimum is fifty nine dollars per year, and you can only use it on one website. <clears throat> you get for three websites and like for one thousand websites, you you be paying three hundred ninety nine dollars per year. Okay, so um, this is how much it costs to have Elementor Pro, and it's a very you know very good tool that you that you want to use, right? Um, so but. Do not be scared. I have Elementor Pro. I've purchased it. As a matter of fact, I purchased enough Elementor Pro um, to serve for everyone. Okay, so that is what uh, most of my students in my mentorship academy, that's what they are using. Okay, my mentorship academy is called Smart Website Designers Program. That's what they are using. You know, so I give them access to all these tools for free. I'm going to show you a lot of other tools that I give to them for free and resources for free because they paid to join my mentorship um, platform. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me install it too. Um, let's go back to what we we're doing. Yeah. So first of all, I want to install. Click on um, um, search plugins. Come here. See search plugins. You can see Elementor is already shown here. In your own case, if you're not sure, so you just type it. Elementor. Elementor. Type Elementor. You see it's the first one. Elementor website builder. This is what we want. So you click on install now. Oh, I'm going to actually delete this. This is not how I want you to install it. Um, okay, yeah, this is actually a mistake. Although this is the right way to install it, but um, if you install it like this, it is subject to automatic update, right? And the Elementor Pro I'm going to be giving to you 
um, the way they build Elementor is that once they, they, they update the free, they update the Pro version too, and they are connected. So if you are having an updated free Elementor, but the Pro version is not updated, it's going to scatter your website and you don't want that. What do you want? You want a situation where um, your website is always working. So <clears throat> there's another way to install Elementor and the Pro, the free and the Pro version, such a way that they cannot automatically update. And if they cannot automatically update, your website will be in good shape forever, all right? So um, let me go back to plugins, installed plugins. If I want to view all the plugins I've installed, just click on installed plugins. Then I'm going to remove this element I just added now. So I'm going to um, delete it. <clears throat> okay. I hope you are watching closely what I'm doing. So I've deleted it. So now let me install it again the way, um, the right way, the way that you should do it in your own terms so that you don't get to suffer um, so I clicked on add new, then I came here, click on, I'm going to click on upload plugin, right? Upload plugin. Come here, you click on choose file. So they're going to go to my web, my laptop, and I'm going to look for the element or that, the one I want to upload now. I'm going to look for it now. But this is, this is the package, Elementor Pro version 3.3, 3.7.3 package. Now this package is like the most recent one, okay? I just got this one recently, like, um, it, no, I think late last year, somewhere around November. I don't know, maybe they might have updated it again, but this one is actually pretty working very fine. This time I encountered an issue with my, with most of the websites because of this of Elementor, they just updated their stuff and, you know, it spoiled most of the website and I had to, start doing all of those things from scratch again. So I don't want you to make that same mistake. So that's why I purchased this one. This is this, this one you use now. And you know you don't encounter issues. So I'm going to click on Elementor first. Click on Elementor first. You click on Open. Then you click on Install Now. OK, Install Now. You might not understand this video the first time. So you might have to watch it more than once. Watch it two times or maybe three times to understand it and follow closely. OK, so I've clicked on Install Now. And it's loading. It's loading already. You can see this X sign here means it is loading. Okay, so I'm, let's, just, let's just give it a bit of time. You can also see here waiting for precious blah blah blah. You can see that means it's loading. Okay, it's, it's installing on my website. So let's just give it a little bit of time to load up. Okay. Yeah, quick, 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 quick. Let's let's do this stuff and be over with it. No time. All right, it has installed. Now I'm going to click on activate plugin. So you click on activate plugin, you know, at your own end too. Click on activate plugin. Come on, let's be fast. Click on activate plugin, then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I've been talking for a long time, so my, my since yesterday I've been talking, so my voice is actually um, somewhat cracked. So let me just, all right. So as soon as you click on activate, Give it a bit of time to load. Once it, it is activated, it will bring you here. It will just automatically bring you here. Okay, so the next, they want you to set up some things. So you come here, you can create your account. If you want to have an account with Elementor, you can create it here. You can just click here and create your account like you're, um, you're creating an account with any other platform, but I'm going to skip. So I, don't, I, have, I have an account with them. I don't need that. It's not really important though. So I'm going to skip this. Skip, then they ask you, now let's give your site a name. You can see there's a name here already. But you can name it. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Okay, your name. So um, yes. So we are good with this. You click on next. They say, do you have a logo? Add it here. Yes, I have a logo, but I'm not going to be adding it here for now, right? Um, I'm just going to skip. Just going to skip this. Then they say you're good to go. What next? Start editing your pages. Okay. So if I'm if I click on, um, skip. It's going to take me to um, the Elementor editor, but I don't want to go there now. 
Okay, so I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna close this here. So you click here to close it. So good. So now we have Elementor on our website. The next thing we want to do is now to install the Elementor Pro, which is also very important. Without the Elementor Pro, you might not be able to do a whole lot of things. You might not be able to build that very professional website that you want, okay? That is why it is called Elementor Pro, because it helps you to build professional websites. So I'm going to come back here, come click on, um, come, back, come back to plugins, click on add new, the same way, you click on upload plugin, click on choose file, so it's going to take you back to my computer, to your computer, and I'm going to click on Elementor Pro, and I'm going to click on Open. Okay, then um, click on Install Now. This exact same process. Exact same process. So, like I mentioned before, watching this video the first time might not, might, you know, might be confusing. So you might want to watch it more than once, maybe two times, maybe three times for you to understand, you know, what I'm trying to show you. Because okay, so let's give it time. So it's installing, it's on packaging, it's installing the plugin now, then it's done. Just click on activate plugin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. So I've clicked on activate plugin. I'm gonna give it a bit of time to you know, be activated. Then we install the third plugin that we need, and that will be all for this video, okay? That'll be all for this video. All right, so the two elementals have been um, you know, installed. Now you can see, if, when, you, when you install your elemental like this, you'll see stuff like this now. Now they're telling me you know, that there is a new version of um, elemental, right? There is a code um, 3.10.2. I'm sure this version just came out this year and they want me to update now, but do not update. Do not update. Do not update. You can see that the Elementor Pro is um, um, three points. So the Elementor Pro is like the, is the latest version. Okay, but do not update the Elementor. Just leave it. Just leave it like that. Okay, don't update it. Then the next plugin you want to install is called Envato, uh, Envato Elements. So how do we do that? You come back, click on add new. Click on add new to install the Envato elements, add new. Then you type in Envato, E-N-V-A-T-O, Envato. So the very first one, this one, are Envato elements. Click on install now. Click on install now. So um, if it has installed, then we'll click on activate. Click on activate. All right, so that's it. We have installed and activated all the plugins we are going to be needing for this um this this website that we want to design right now. Okay, so that will be it for this video. I'm going to be seeing you in the next video. In the next video, we're going to be talking about um step two. But this is step one, installing of plugins. Step two would be to you know get and install the template kit. We want to use the template kit. Okay, let's talk about that in the next video. Okay, so um yeah.